Uh, develop new game. I'm gonna make it a mystery game. Pick topic, it's gonna be mystery. Uh, I'm gonna pick the genre. Mystery... Strategy? Is that what they are? Oh, and hey there, uh... ASLY Drunk. Pretty cool name. Sounds like someone directly off of Omegle. Uh, is mystery game probably strategy, right? Or simulation? Like, you are... an undercover cop or something? Or, like, you are, uh... some sort of detective? I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, I think that'd be better on PC, though. Because you can, like, click around. Like, these point-and-click games are, like, all the rad back in the day. And, of course, we're gonna have the engine like a survey one. A uh, small game, because I can't really do anything else. What do you want to name a mystery game? Wait, mystery needs story stuff you didn't research? Are you sure? But I, I got some, uh, oh, like, even if I researched, I'm not gonna be able to use it until I funnel, like, a million dollars into making another engine. So, I mean, it doesn't matter if I research stuff yet, really. <laughs> the only thing that I can use immediately after researching it is, uh, genres. That's it. I have to fund, like, a million dollars to make an engine. That's why I only have one of them. So, what do you want to name it? Elementary? That's not how you spell it. Elementary. Watson. I think so. Sure, yeah, let's just, wait, what am I missing? Pick a genre. Oh yeah, I forgot to pick that. Simulation? Is that what they are nowadays? A school horror combination? Yeah, screw that! Uh, like, screw this. School horror. Do I have a school game? Topic. School, yeah. Okay, school? School... action? Sure. It'll be like mature. Cause you know those anime like school games are... Mature. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> oh, I'll get to it, okay? I'll make a game about everything. Uh, eventually. So the, like, isn't the DS, doesn't the DS have like a lot of stuff like that? If I had the PS Vita, I would uh, obviously make like a school action game directly on the PS Vita, or PSP. Uh, because that's exactly what it is. It, that's basically all the games on the PSP. Uh, I think I'll just make it everyone, like this is kind of be like a... Something. I think, wait, music and rhythm? What's the difference between the... Oh no. Okay. I think this is pretty cool. Just that it matters uh, what I'm going to make this on. So mature games are better on PC, obviously. And these are probably, uh... Adventure is the second tag for most exploration games? Huh. Okay. You wanna have, like, an adventure school game? Simulation? <laughs> school simulation. It'd be like Yandere Simulator. <laughs> Um, I think action's pretty cool. School action? Like, you just go around beating up zombies? You wanna do it, Yeah. Let's just do that. Let's see if how it works. The school simulation on the GS. It would be like, uh, Kudere Simulator. Uh, Simulate. Actually, just, let's make Sundere Simulator. There you go. Sundari Simulator on the small, it's for everyone. Everyone can pick up a gold uh, you know, Sundari and simulate it as well. Uh, it's obviously going to be on 2D graphics. You're going to like walk around Pokemon style all throughout the school and try to uh, convince the Sundari lover that you like them. But obviously they call you a Baka and it's not very good. We need stories and quests because it'll be like, you need to uh, first show her that you love her or something like that. A gameplay and a simulation game is obviously maxed out. Engine, uh, oh. Bump this down just a little bit lower. It's not that big of a deal, but we still need some sort of uh, direction. Otherwise, it's just boring. You think a multiplayer game with this would be pretty cool? I think I should save my money and try to just make some money. A linear story is obviously pretty cool. We need the simple cutscenes of like them kissing in the end or something like that. Let's do that. Okay. Oh really? Right when I make a school simulation game. That's, that's pretty, well, it's not pretty awkward in, like, nowadays, but, like, back in the day, that was pretty all like, weird. And now, the, it, it, there's no longer anything for weird combination. But, so I have hype. Do I want to hype this game up? Marketing. Potential customers can find it expensive, too, but, but too early in development, to too late. Don't invest. So it should be, like, midway. No matter how much money you pump in the marketing, it does not make a bad game successful. Cool. Uh, so I should advertise it in magazines. I can probably do that, like... 
Yeah. I'll do that stage, like, at the end of the stage, I'll do it. How about that? Oh. Okay, I'll do it, like, can I? I can't click over. Okay, so I'll just do it after that. Level design is probably pretty cool. Artificial intelligence is also pretty good. I think these two are kind of equal, right? Level design? I think artificial intelligence is better than level design. And dialogues are up there. Better dialogues. I like a pain you bring around your own your own student there. I don't think okay, I think in the simulator games artificial intelligence actually isn't as good as uh, level design. And this is actually pretty complicated. Like, is it? Right? Level design over artificial intelligence? I'll just bump up a bit more to like coffin coffin sales. Level these out, right? I can do that. There you go. And then I'll advertise in some magazine. Get some more fans. I have like those fans that like you know uh, like people will play bad games just because we make it and say it's like the greatest game ever. I'll be like that company. I don't make good games anymore, but I'll play them because they're popular or like I have really devoted fans. Uh, sound probably is like meh. We need like some good old Baka sounds, uh, but that's probably not. A, uh... How do you do AAA games successfully? I haven't got to that part yet. Uh, but I think I watched Sips, you know, Sips play it, the Augcast Sips. Uh, and it's really complicated to make a AAA game work. You can even make MMOs, but that takes a long, like, dedication to it. World design? I think graphics and sounds probably aren't that important, but, like, world design probably is. Rich Baxter? Yeah, we need to know why exactly. I am a Baka. Open world probably isn't very, uh, needed though. Oh, I have, uh, 11 hype thanks to, uh, the magazine. I- I did make good games, it's just that... complicated to make good games. I'll let the hype sort of just ride up a bit. Oh. Cool, multi-platform. I'll let it go up for about 10 seconds and see how uh, how my game goes. Let's go. Hey look, I have the most design I've ever made and I level up all these freaking things. That's awesome. Release game. Achievements, advanced cutscenes. Cool. Let's see. Come on. Gary needs new pair of shoes. Oh, oh, I see 10s. I see 10s. Oh boy. Eight. Woo. Oh man, Quirk, wait, it's freaking, I got eight and you give me a six? What are you doing? Star Games enjoyed it! Come on, Star Games! At least Star Games knows how it is. Everyone likes good old Sundere. Cool. Well, at least they look at that. I'm making, uh, like, 25k uh, sales in, like, the first week. That's pretty good. I'm go like, that's, that's a lot of money. I'm gonna generate a, uh... Generate a game report uh, and see where I went wrong with this game. And it's probably level design, right? Level design probably wasn't really needed. A small booth, but I'm not like, really making a game right now. I can start one. As soon as this is done, I'm gonna start one, okay? Can I see this? Sundari Simulator, School and Simulation is a great combination. Dialogue seems to be not important. Okay. Apparently, a good old BACA is not very needed. Okay. You can't believe that worked? <laughs> I think a lot of us can. So we need to develop a new game really fast. What was it you wanted to do? You wanted to make a mystery adventure. It didn't work too well. I thought, it, like, when I saw the first tens, the slushing by, I thought it was going to do pretty good. But it didn't. Uh, so you want a mystery adventure game. Um, that will be on the PC, because mystery adventure point and clicks are pretty cool. I like a survey one. Small game. What is it gonna be called? Do you wanna be mature? Do you wanna have like a lot of gore? Kinda of like murdered soul suspect? I think so. Uh, it's gonna be exactly like murdered soul suspect. Except it will be, uh, you are a fancy sir. Uh, you have a top hat that also has like all your gadgets that you need. Like underneath of it, you just like whip out your magnifying glass and it's exactly everything you need. No one understands how you have all that stuff up in your hat. But it's like endless and you have all your supplies you will ever need. 
uh, it's gonna be like that, and you're gonna go around and solve like many murders, and then it's gonna be like overarching like plot and like who the murderer actually was and all of them. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Then 3D, like again, I need in order to take advantage of 3D graphics, I need to make another in engine. Like, I'll show you after I'm done with this game because I really need to make it fast before like like two more weeks because then G3 is coming on. Uh, but I would show you uh, how engines work because I have to funnel like a million dollars uh, into that, and I, I don't really have that much money right now. Um, so what do I want to name it? Inspector Gadget. I got it. In spec, sir. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, it is. Apparently, it took so long naming it. Told me that it was in. Uh, uh, was in fact hard. Okay, so it's gonna be 2D graphics. It's like an RPG Maker game before RPG Maker games existed. The gameplay obviously needs to go up. Sto a story, uh, engine probably doesn't need to be very high. A uh, story and quests probably need to be like that, right? It doesn't need to be multiplayer. It needs to have simple cutscenes and a linear story, obviously. Better use experience character progression? I think so. Let's do it. I think this is pretty good. Is there a way to like... Okay, I'll, I'll hype up the game after... Uh, right about now. Slap some magazines up there. Okay, so. Dialogues probably aren't too uh, needed. Artificial intelligence. And, uh, well, yeah. Artificial intelligence is probably really needed. Do you want to have, like, AI companions? Like, I have someone that's, like, like my Watson. Oh, dear. I think that would be pretty cool. Let's just let's slap it in there. Artificial intelligence needs to be bumped up more, though, so I just put it to 100. Um, level design probably isn't too necessary. Dialogues are probably more necessary than that, though. Like, we need to know why, uh, everything's going on, so there's probably gonna be a lot of talking. Like, conjecture. Like, OBJECTION! Yeah. Let's hype this game up. Like, soon, very simulator. Still actually going pretty good. Oh, oh, here we go. Inspect Sir Patchett. And let's see. Let's, can I get, can I get over 100k? Let's do it. Come on. You can do it. I got 90k last year, so I mean, I got- OH YEAH! WOO! 100k! Get it. Okay, so 100k, I was not in the top 100 booths though. Cause I just got a small booth. Maybe I should invest in a bigger booth, cause it seems like a lot of people wanna like, go to it. World design is probably not too. Graphics are probably, yeah, pretty high. And sounds is probably fine as well. Uh, open world doesn't really need to be needed. Like graphics wise, you really need to know like the items and like kind of scout everything. Out. So let's just patch out these bugs, add a little bit more design. It looks like I'm gonna get past my uh, my maximum design of last time. Uh, so I got half a million in sales. I mean, it wasn't too good, but that's pretty fine. It kept me afloat. Casual games. As soon as I'm about to release a mystery adventure. Here. Okay. I'll build like another like real game or something. Let's finish this game. Come on. Oh, I didn't actually get a, a any sort of milestone at all. Hey, look, 2D graphics leveled up. I'm really good at 2D graphics now. Look at this game. Come on. I need money. Come on. What do you think it's gonna be? Uh, this spam in chat, the numbers you think it'll be, and I'm gonna click this button in like 10 seconds, and by the time it pops up, I'll, I'll see your numbers. Okay, let's go. Oh, I see some 10s. I see some... Oh, gosh darn it. Come on, guys. Star games. It seems like there's a trend of just being average. Like, I don't make any exceptional games, though every game I make is somewhere around the same. Well, it looks like Matt got it correctly. Hey. Well, I got six, and you need to go on a vacation. You never need to go on a vacation, but you need to generate a game report for why I did so bad on Inspector Gadget. Okay, well, I'm actually selling quite a bit, and I'm making a little bit of money. Uh, so, what did I do wrong? Inspector Hatchet. Mystery Adventure is pretty cool. Graphics. Like, that, like, it seems like I only do one thing wrong, and, like, everything's screwed up. Oh dear. 